woman is in critical condition after she was attacked during a home invasion, and tonight the person responsible is still out there to strike again. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us live from uh, Detroit Police Headquarters downtown. And has this attacker been connected to any other cases, Kim? Right now, Stephen, there does not appear to be any connection with any other cases, but the investigation is just beginning, and this man is certainly a predator. She fought, and the evidence is in her face how she fought, too. That's all she said. She said, I fought the hardest I ever fought in my life. A loved one left in critical condition after an early morning home invasion left her face to face with a man armed with a knife, and he was trying to rape her. She's still shook up and devastated, you know, and a lot of family come here from Pontiac to check on her to make sure she's okay. Then she has her daughter by her side, so she's pretty shook up right now. It happened around 4.15 this morning on Radnor near Chandler Park Drive on Detroit's east side. A woman was fast asleep here in her home when a man climbed in through a window. She was alone, and when he went into her bedroom is where he attacked her, beat her, and tried to rape her. And when she fought back is when we're told she was stabbed. And then her attacker took off on foot. The victim rushed to a local hospital. She's a strong person. She's a, yeah. she's a fighter. She's a strong person. Yeah, she's a she's fighter good. because she really fought. So we know she's strong and we have to stay strong for her. And the attacker has reportedly been described as a light complected black male in his late teens or early 20s. He's around 6'1, 140 pounds with a beard and a mustache. And he wore a blue jean jacket, red hooded sweater, and blue jeans. And Glenda, certainly, if anyone has any information on who this man might be, they're urged to call Detroit police right away. Back to you. Certainly, Kim. Thank you.